Hello once again YouTube, this is Uthers, and we are playing Timber and Stone yet again. So, this episode we're going to be doing something a little bit different. You guys might notice the episode length will be a little bit shorter today. And that's because I'm going to try and do a time lapse for this episode. And keep the episode to about 10 minutes. So, um, you guys are going to see me probably build up some of the walls. You're going to see me build up... Uh, one of the new storage barn areas and then also finish digging out our dry dock area all uh, fairly sped up I'm gonna try and not move the camera too much so you guys don't get jarring imagery and we'll see how this goes if you guys like the new format you can let me know as well and so I'll see you guys here in a moment
All right, everyone, I hope that wasn't too jarring for y'all, but uh, I felt like trying not to do a speed build type of episode. It was about an hour and a half of gameplay squeezed into five minutes. If I do that right in editing, uh, I wouldn't know until the thing's uploaded. Anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and go over what we did do in that amount of time. I'm sure it might be hard to see. Uh, during all the speed up process and everything so it, it took that long to dig out most of our dry dock I was really surprised on how long this actually took but if you think about it I mean it is a oh 29 by 15 area that is six deep so you know, even with three or four miners, this has taken the whole time um, from the speed build. And even before the speed build started, these guys were working here. So kudos to them. We've gotten a decent amount of ore from it as well, which is great. Uh, this will get all finished up for next episode. But what I mainly focused on this episode was this structure. And I didn't really announce what this was. I thought it was just going to be another warehouse. But as I was working on it, those thoughts changed and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the inside um, so this upper floor and the whole building in general this is the shipwright and the upper floor has a bunch of books bookcases treasure chests um, and this is where they would actually design ships they have a nice big table for drafting uh, some chairs for clients to you know see the ships they're uh, coming up with in this building and then if we peel back another layer, we have the large workshop where material materials are processed and then simply taken over to the dry dock to, for construction. So they have a full assortment of construction materials here. The only thing that's not here is a blacksmith, which is fine. I'm fine with the blacksmith in the city doing work in that regard. And it has a little bit of a storage room across the pathway. And then another merchant, really. And then, you know, just a bunch of work tables, storage, uh, things like that. And I like how this building turned out. I did a little bit of a Tudor uh, build. So it has these little extensions coming out of the sides. I haven't really done any structures like this just yet, but it is a, a fairly common sort of structure if you think about it during those times. Um, it gives off the commanding presence for the dock in pier area, which is great. Uh, everything about it, I think, is good. So, that and also a little bit of the wall uh, being completed uh, was another thing we finished this episode. So, we have this section and then part of the turn here done. And that'll do it for this episode. So, while I decline all merchant trades, I'm going to go ahead and wish you guys a uh, good night. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys feel like subscribing to my channel, if I can think I'm a little tired from just constantly building, subscribe to my channel for more uh, you know, creative goodness such as this. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the 10-minute episode format and if you want to see more of this format I can do it it's not that big of a deal it takes about the same amount of time no matter what because all this would have been built just off camera instead now you guys get to see as it progresses if you can follow me on twitter uh, twitter.com forward slash utheris just like the spelling for this youtube channel and uh, let me know what you want to see next I'll see you guys in the next episode